Alright, what's going on guys? My name is Syracuse, and welcome back to Bastion. It's been a while since we played this, but I'm very excited to be back in because when we left off, we got baked on the pipe, and we got we went on a crazy trip, and we were about to be recall the history. Um, but logging in, I'm realizing there's a lot of stuff we just skipped when we saw that we could smoke the pipe. So... Let's put the core in. Zol's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Wait. Lost and found her a shrine. I feel like I want the lost and shrine. Lost and found. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments of the old world and makes them whole again. Oh, cool. Graver slash. Yeah, that sounds All it cool. Takes is some fragments, and the bastion makes it good as new. I can just buy upgrade stuff here. Awesome. Automatically retaliate when injured. Hundred percent damage when counter blocking with the bulkhead shield. What's a memento? Is that I? I want to know the history of this. So, plus we have so many credits. I want to see if they'll tell us about this crystal beret. They will. All right. So let's go. The marshal smoking, and then we'll do that last. That one last. The marshal seemed like good man. He says they treated him with dignity. Quick worded, I like that. Now it's smoke. Brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. You are not very descriptive. Ooh, did this belong to like our sister or something? We all lost loved ones in the calamity, he says. I don't know how I'm gonna go on without mine. Who'd he lose? Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the Marshals kept a wary eye on him. Alright, so the Ura and Ceylandia were at war? Na Ask about what happened to Nacy, the girl who used to pin her ha hair back with us. Is she here already? Where is everyone? Nacy? I tried to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, alright. Except no one else showed up. So is it his sister? Alright, let's go into the past. Maybe we'll learn something there. Kid takes another drag. Goes out like a light. <laughs> There's something you should know about the kid. But let me take it from the top. So these are the... Oh, weird. Oh! The past catches up with the kid. Hardly had a moment's rest since all this started. What's this? Holy crap! That was some bull. That was sweet! I didn't get a good look at it the first time. Ow, ow! Rude. Shotgun! Fair to say he's led a hard life. Supposing what he says in his sleep ain't no lie. Tell us more! What's that mean? 
Do I have to like survive rounds and then I learn history? He never knew his old man, but he had his mama to take care of. Frail thing with pure white hair like his. Thank you. Having his mama's hair to the kid no favors while he was growing up, but he learned to hold his own out there. So he got teased for having white hair? Oh my god. <laughs> Kid signs up for a turn on the rippling walls. Make his mama some money. Okay, so he joined like. He joined the army or something similar? What was that saying? Anyway. One chance. Of... Thanks to folks like the kid. The walls kept Ceylandia safe from whatever's out there. The elements, the aura, you name it. Don't be so vague. Tell me what's going on. What is that noise? Oh, it's the, uh, God, what are they called? Scumbags. Yeah. Once a kid done his time, he hurried on home. Turns out his mama's time was done, too. There's not going to be any floor left. Oh, I'm going to die. Ah. Where are you expecting me to go? Oh my, look at the sludgling, or the scumbag. The city had nothing for him. The money he'd been sending home was nowhere to be found either. Got a red one. I'm just gonna let them take care of themselves. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Move, move! Shotgun! I wonder if, like, the harder mode you have limited ammo or something. Kid do why well, he went right on back to the walls for another five years. God, uh, ass don't matter for nothing now. No, ah. Uh.
Just tell me what happens. Or what happened. Ah. Uh. Alright, well, I'm gonna spend some money to upgrade my uh, weapons. Actually. Hey, buddy. Do I want the musket or I do I want the. What? I can have two melees? I was not aware of that. I think we're going to stick with the bow, though. I like this, though. It's so nice for dealing with the squirts. Although the trip might- or not the squirts, the scumbags. This one was nice as well, and I feel like that one's going to be good for who knows where. Because that's what that area was just called. But I guess we'll upgrade, and then we'll go get... Finders Keepers. For the fang repeater. Uh, this is a good one. Alright. Um, what I was saying is we'll, we'll go get a new core. I'm not going to spend the entire episode. Machetes are so quick, you gotta keep a good grip on them. Attacks cripple. Ooh. Ooh. Points just don't get any sharper than that. Sweet. I like Hit that. It's a special surprise in every one of those arrows. Yeah. Alright, well, let's go get some more money. Proving. Oh, here we go. Yeah. We'll do this. Langston River flowed free and wild. What's that thing? The calamity drank it all up. That's new. No, wait, 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 wait. All that water just grew wings and flew off. You cannot just show me some new living thing and then not tell me what it is. Riverbanks swarming with wind bags. What's he attacking? They're so bent on finding the core, they hardly noticed the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. How? It's a floating barge. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. They're pretty steamed about what happened at Cinderbrick. Yeah. They try to cut her off. Ooh, I feel like we'll do the slow it down. We'll do the challenges a lot better now. They try to knock her out. Oi. Well weeping Nelly tries harder. What is that thing? Try as she might though. She hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors.
Bugger off. At least she picked a good spot for a break. Cause the core is right there. Where? The other way? Oi! That freaking move! Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred flapping wings. Yeah. They had their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds they a hurt. really rare to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. Sweet! Let's go. Oh. My bad. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we'd fly at times like these. Yeah. Yeah, they remind me of uh, Murkrow, the Pokemon. The one, the uh, raven that looks like he has a sombrero on. Security skips keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Oh god, this one's, this one's pretty much dead. Oh crap. The windbag's getting even better out here. They aim to smash with the Oh my skips. god! Kid boards one of them skiffs like some kind of St. Londian privateer. Well, it all proves too much for poor Nelly. No! Nelly! God, look at how much I was supposed to survive. Just gotta make one last stop. Was I seriously seriously supposed to survive throughout all this? With the last breath, Nelly gets the kid to solid ground. Solid ground and picker country. I'm not complaining. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the pickers' appetites. Why have you not told me about the peckers before, old man? Yeah, well, they can't have it. Oh god, they, they're hard to hit. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times Kid nearly fell off the barge back there. We don't need to Two talk times. about it. Really, game? Oh, what? Now, listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man, or plain old fool, to venture out that far. Well, what am I? The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can't. Oh. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff, ain't it? There the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. Ooh. How's it go again? Yeah, that 
that's the one. See, I don't block in any other game, so I'm not used to doing it in this game. But it's a lot more important than this game. Please tell me we find, like, Knight Nacy. See what I mean? It's like a necessity to stop them from flying away. That guy sounded different. This place is a maze. Oh, oh, okay. Alright, let's do it. Please tell me it's actually someone singing and they're not gonna pull, like, oh, it's just a record player or something. Is it just a freaking musical book? Suffice bar? it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. It's a person! Get over there! They'll be here before too long. We're finding all the people! Darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. One? I thought I was on, I wasn't even halfway through the game. No. All right, we gotta ask her all the questions. So many secrets in there, she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. What about Zelf? Can he read it? Most of the era never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Oh, we're gonna offer her the spyglass. Sure, the world's all gone to pieces farther than the eye can see. But leave it to this gal to point out the amazing view. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So were the marshals good guys or dicks? A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Tell me about it. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. Ah. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. All 
All right, well, I think we're going to go an extra long episode because I don't know how much of this game is left. And we just had such a long break between episodes. I don't want to end this one and then come back for five minutes or ten minutes of gameplay. So we'll get the next core. If it seems like there's more after... Or it might just split up the episodes. So the episode might end here with me talking or... It might continue, so let's roll the dice. Behold the oh, I found man. one. Why would I want to do these? I mean, like some of them seem to give, seem like they would give a bonus, but neither of these do. Oh, wait, 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 do I have to... Kobe. Uh, I have to invoke them first. Okay. So, wait, let's go get drunk. Because we have one more. Stab synth. Sounds good. Stay absinthe is like drinking a cool breeze. Just don't go spitting needles everywhere. Hmm. We track the final core beyond the city to the wilds. The wild unknown place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Heaven, too. Ooh. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Savage things lurking at every turn. Ow. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. What? Oh, they can hit me, they can hit me, they can hit me. Do it. Wallflowers survived the calamity. It toughened them up. Oh, well, this is. There we go. That's how I'll do it, because that leaves lasting damage. Best take it real slow when thin cushions are afoot. This is definitely where I need to use my... <laughs> so he should think pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. I love how it reacts to what I'm doing. this
I don't know if I like this. Um, look how like inaccurate they are. Don't ever turn your back on the pin cushion. I'm sorry. Kids roused up half wild by now. Got so much shit. Alright, I'm in a little safe spot right here. Then kid gets the feeling he's being watched. Not by me. By a little kid. Oh, what Most is that? Kids ain't fond of two-legged animals. Oh! Hit him anywhere but the hind quarters and he only make him mad. Get wrecked. Hardly any signs of the old Jawson camp. So those are the people that came the wilds out. Wilds already reclaimed this place. Anxious to get back. Hey. After all, he's got the final core. His journey's over, right? Well, no, it ain't. Not by a long shot. Kid knows something's up when we ain't there to give a warm welcome. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. And with that, Zolf leaves us here, alone. That bitch! No! Okay. Zolf banged up the monument pretty bad. Why'd I do that? But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. We're gonna need all of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Zulf cursed the city. Cursed the bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. When Zulf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument till I tried to stop him. Well, fuck him. He left his pipe. So there. What? What's next? The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Okay. Well. We'll do that in another ep another episode, because we're already running over time. I'm so glad there's more of the game, though. Oh. God, I cannot wait to, le to learn more about the history. Failed about what? The Calamity, sorry. Um, if you enjoyed the video, then a like and a subscription would be much appreciated. Um... Yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.